Hello all, you join me after a dismal game of football. No goals on offer, but a fine display of streaking. I caught up with the headline makers earlier. I'm here now with Joel Bear. Joel, obviously not a great game as we saw, but perhaps the perfect opportunity for you to grab your debut. Well, John, the game we're heading for nil-nil and it, it, it just seemed like the right time to pop up and show the crowd at people at home what I can do. You certainly showed a lot out there. You must have real confidence to go start naked on your first time out. Yeah, well, I thought, why not? It was a very special and chilly feeling to get my first appearance under my belt. Well, and the cameras picked you out perfectly. Yeah, so I've been told. Uh, my mum texts me straight after the game. Apparently her and me nan were watching avidly. I'm here now with Ray Bear. Ray, a special moment for you and your son Joel to be on the pitch together. How did it feel to be side by side? Well, uh, to be honest, I've, I've not seen him naked going on 15 years, so it, it felt quite wrong. It all looked so natural for him. Yeah, well, he's a real showman, and, uh, you know, it really impressed me the way he kept going for those three laps, you know, even after a few cans and a pie. And, of course, Joel, following in your father's footsteps, who was, as always today, a star performer, is it true you call him the greatest of all time? Uh, no, John, no, we do call him the goat, but uh, that's just because he stinks and he'll eat anything. Hello, Martin. What was your game plan today? I was going to do all day to be honest with you John so it was really just to get on the pitch and follow through that's quite unfortunate for the staff who have to clean it up I don't know John is that not what the sprinklers are for no hey Rice we saw how quickly you could move today Joel but we also saw how elegant your father is on the turf yeah well he's made a blind of a run down their wing and uh, no one could catch him not even their fullback and what were you thinking when he got stopped at the end I thought, wow, that's a horrible tackle. Oh, from the stewards? No, no, his tackle. It's an absolute mess, but uh, he won't see a doctor. Hi there, Hans. It looks like you've picked up an injury there. There's quite a lot of blood. Yeah, unfortunately, I did catch the, uh, the little fella on the net while showboating, but, you know, the season is relentless, and with the game on Wednesday, you know, there's no rest for the wicked. And uh, before you go, Joel, a quick word on your father's questionable celebrations afterwards. Yeah, well, I've had a word with him about it, and he knows there was absolutely no need for it. And he is now well aware that is how you get yourself put on a register. <laughs> Anything to say about your celebrations at the end, Ray? Uh, yes, I would like to publicly apologise to all the children from St Bernard's School for the Deaf. Uh, what I did was wrong. And I am completely and truly sorry for ruining your day and potentially scarring you forever. I'm sure they'll appreciate that, Ray. You could clearly see and hear them all screaming, which is quite a feat as many of them are completely mute. Oh, well, uh, in that case, I'm just glad I could help. And I'm joined now by Steve Coldshaw, a veteran streaker who has never been caught. And Steve, a lot of people are wondering, what is your secret? Utterly bottily. Oh, yes, Flora Proactive. 